Ryan Palmer creates his distinctive donuts from his trailer, Gordo's. My main man, Vinny, he's the manager here. He's going to be Vinny. showing you how it's done. Vinny's going to be showing me how to make two of Gordo's most outrageous donuts. First up is a savoury one called the Flying Pig. This is our top secret dough, but you can make a traditional like dough with just yeast, warm water, confection of sugar, eggs, flour. Confection of sugar is simply icing sugar. Take one. Yeah, we just go like this. It'll start to float. And how long do you cook these for? It's about two minutes per side. It'll start to huff up a little bit, and you'll be able to tell to flip it. So straight away, we've got a lovely colour, haven't we? So if you'd like to try this at home, you need a deep fat fryer and make sure the oil is around 180 degrees Celsius. All right, now I think they're about done here. All right, let's do the maple glaze here. Okay, so what do you start with now? Just melted butter. I use a little bit of half and half here. Half and half is just half milk and half cream. We have a confection of sugar that we will use to like kind of thicken it up a little bit. And then we also add a delicious maple syrup. Once these are all combined, you're left with a sweet, sticky glaze. Yes, yeah, it's, it's good. Delicious. Yeah, it's, it's really good. You can go ahead and uh, drop these in the fryer, the, the bacon, for the donut. As this is cooking, we can also go ahead and dunk our uh, donut in uh, the maple glaze. Right. Oh, man. So we just place it in here. And then tops off with bacon. We place it on top of the donut. Another uh, dash of the maple glaze on top. This is making the kid inside you happy. This is what you guys are about. There's no holding back, is there? I've seen people put everything from ice cream to gummy <laughs> snakes to chocolate syrup on these donuts. What, on top of bacon? On top of bacon, yes. I can't wait to try this. But first, we're going to make an even sweeter donut. It's called the PB&J, or peanut butter and jelly. We're going to be making the um, peanut butter glaze. The ingredients for this glaze are the same, but just substitute maple syrup for peanut butter. Oh, it's virtually butter. like toffee, isn't it? So next up, the banana. Banana. We hit this on the flat top grill. I'm gonna drizzle on this uh, honey butter mixture that we use. Melted honey and butter. And then uh, we also have a mixture of uh, cinnamon and sugar that we pour on top of here. So uh, while this is grilling, we can go ahead and uh, prepare the donut. We're gonna actually inject it. Whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. You mean inject? Inject, uh, we're gonna squeeze the grape jelly inside. And then I uh, fill it in the center. And then we put our beautiful peanut butter glaze on top. Only in America. Only in America? Now. Only in America. And then I hit it with uh, some more of the grape jelly. We also put the uh, peanut butter morsels. These are peanut flavored chocolate chips. And then now we'll make Elvis proud and put some bananas on top <laughs> of uh, this peanut butter jelly donut. Delicious, insane, weird donuts. And wonderful. But before I devour these donuts, let's have a reminder of how they're made. First, the savory, the flying pig. Fry your ring-shaped dough at 180 degrees for two to three minutes each side until golden. To make the maple glaze, mix melted butter, milk and cream, ice and sugar and maple syrup. Dip the donut into the glaze and top with fried bacon and more of the glaze. Now for the sweet peanut butter and jelly donut. Make your glaze adding peanut butter instead of maple syrup. Grill chopped bananas with honey, butter and a sprinkle of cinnamon. Fill the donut with grape jelly, coat with peanut butter glaze, sprinkle on some chocolate chips, and then the bananas to serve. They're pretty gnarly, so here's a nice work. Awesome. A look at this. Here we go. I think what tops off is a texture, because you've got this crispiness really against like soft, fresh donut. Mine is good. It's rich, but it's good. And now for this one. You've got the basic peanut butter flavour and the banana, but then you suddenly get this lovely grape jelly. Vinny, a pleasure. That was rock and roll cooking. Wow, wow, wow. The sweetness works so well with the fish. It's easy one of the best fish dishes that I've ever, ever tasted, David. I'm glad you're saying that, man. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. OK, we're going to start putting the dry and the wet ingredients, right? So we've got the yep. two sugars mixed, and next you're going to add... Powdered milk. Powdered milk will add an extra layer of sweetness to this dish. 